So hey everyone and welcome my name is Nikhil and I'm a solution engineer at Hacknox. So today we are going to dive into a really critical topic of continuous compliance in Kubernetes environments. So our focus will be on how to effectively implement and maintain compliance by leveraging powerful open source tools such as Kubama, Kubebench and Kubespace. So continuous compliance is far more than a mere checkbox exercise. It's a dynamic ongoing process that ensures our systems are consistently aligned with security standards and regulatory compliance. We will delve into the importance of continuous compliance and how it can safeguard our operation against vulnerabilities. Alright, so let's quickly go over what we'll be covering today. So we'll start with what continuous compliance is and why it's so important. And then we will dive into why maintaining continuous compliance is crucial for Kubernetes environment. And then I'll introduce you to some great open source tools like Kubescape, Kubebench and Kubearmor that can help with the task itself. And then we'll discuss some practical steps to get continuous compliance up and running. Also we'll touch upon some of the key standards like CIS, NIST and MITRE. And finally we'll wrap up with the key points to remember. So we have a lot to cover so let's jump right in and start with understanding what continuous compliance is and why it matters for our Kubernetes environments. So continuous compliance is a proactive approach that integrates compliance checks into every stage of the software development lifecycle. This means that compliance isn't just a final step but an ongoing process. So a key strategy in achieving continuous compliance is shift left security. This involves integrating security practices early in the development process. So right from the design phase, by doing this, we address security concerns before they become larger issues and ensuring that security is a fundamental part of development rather than an afterthought. So implementing DevSecOps is another vital component. Uh, DevSecOps merges with development, security and operations into a unified process. So this integration helps maintain pace with the modern development method while embedding security practices into every phase of the workflow. Now as you all know Kubernetes has become the de facto standard for container orchestration but its complexity introduces new compliance challenges. Continuous compliance in KH is uh, very crucial because it helps in maintaining a consistent security posture across dynamic environments. It ensures rapid detection and responsible response to misconfiguration or, or policy violations. It supports regulatory compliance in highly regulated industries and in all it also reduces the risk of security breaches and data lakes. So now let's explore how we can achieve this. So scanning Kubernetes environment is a first step in continuous compliance. There are several approaches that we can take on like API based scanning tools that interact with Kubernetes API to assess configuration, agent based scanning, deploying agents on the node to gather deep insights analyzing container images for vulnerabilities before deployments or monitoring running containers or for anomalies and policy violations. So each method has its strength and a comprehensive strategy often involves a combination of these approaches. Now talking about the main question is how to achieve continuous compliance in Kubernetes. So define compliance policies based on your regulatory requirements and security best practices then you implement automated scan tools that run at regular interval or trigger on specific events uh, then we integrate compliance checks into your CI/CD pipeline to catch issues before deployment and then we use admission controls to enforce policies at the cluster level and then we implement logging and monitoring to track compliance status over time and after that we finally establish a process for regular review and update updating of compliance policies. Uh, this multi-layered approach ensures that compliance is an ongoing integral part of your Kubernetes operations. Now to effectively scan and secure your Kubernetes environment, leveraging specialized tools become essential. So one notable tool is Kubescape. Kubescape is an open source tool specifically designed to enhance Kubernetes security. It provides a comprehensive suite of features including risk analysis, compliance checks, RBAC visualization and image vulnerability scanning. So Kubescape integrates several well regarded security frameworks like MITRE and NSA to guide its assi assessments. 
so by utilizing QScript uh, and its associated frameworks you can effectively monitor assess and enhance the security posture of your Kubernetes environment now Kubinch is another powerful open source tool that specifically designed for checking whether Kubernetes is deployed securely by running the checks documented in a CI CIS Kubernetes benchmark some of its key features include automated testing uh, it automates the process of checking your community setup against the CIS standards this means that we don't have to manually go through each benchmark Kuban does the heavy work lifting for us right and deployment flexibility whether you are running a self-managed Kubernetes cluster or uh, or using a managed service like EKS, JKE or AKS Kuban support all these deployment types this flexibility ensure we can maintain consistent security practice across different environments and then we have flexible testing options Kubebench can run tests from within the cluster itself or from an external system this adaptability allows us to integrate it seamlessly into our existing workflows and then we have detailed results and CI/CD integration or two there so in summary Kubebench focuses on CIS benchmarks made, makes it an excellent choice for maintaining baseline security compliance and Kubernetes environment and it's a valuable tool for anyone looking to enhance their Kubernetes security posture now to make the most of Kubebench in our continuous compliant efforts here's how we can directly integrate and use this tool so first scan first start by installing Kubebench either directly in your Kubernetes environment or within your CI CD pipeline this setup will allow us to run security checks automatically as a part of a workflow then set up a Kubebench to run regular scans automatically regular scans are crucial for maintaining ongoing compliance as they help us to catch and address issues promptly after that incorporate Kubebench into your development process by doing so we can catch misconfiguration and compliance issues before they make it to the production itself so this reduces the risk of deploying insecure configuration there now utilizes the detailed output from Kubebench to create compliance reports these reports are valuable for tracking progress over time and demonstrating adherence to certain security standards now after that configure alerts for any field controls checks immediate notification will help us to uh, quickly address any compliance violations and mitigate potential risks and also uh, lastly uh, use the results from Kubebench to guide your remediation efforts uh, address the issues highlighted by Kubebench to continuous improve, uh, continuously improve your Kubernetes secure security posture here so by incorporating Kubebench into our Q continuous compliance strategy we can ensure our Kubernetes cluster consistently meet industry standard security best practices so this proactive approach helps us to maintain a secure and compliant environment throughout the development life cycle now let's talk about remediation with Kubama so Kubama is an open source software that provides runtime security enforcement for Cuba Kubernetes uh, it offers container aware security policies system level security enforcement flexible policy creation and management and then real-time uh, visibility into the container activities so Kubama act as a powerful tool in your continuous compliance arsenal helping to enforce and maintain compliance at runtime in the realm of securing and enforcing policies in the Linux environments we have a variety of primitives at our disposal each comes with its advantages and disadvantages so for kernel space we have LSNs, custom kernel modules and BPFC send signals right and for use spaces uh, we similarly have ptrace, clipc, override, ssh right and for sandboxing we have gvisor firecracker so these are some of our primitive enforcement and now let's explore how Kubama leverages LSM's hook for policy enforcement in Kubernetes environment now talking about LSM's hook they provide generic hooks for various objects like nodes, file and sockets and security modules such as AppArmor, SC Linux, Tomio and Smack utilize these hooks so these hooks perform inline and synchronous checks before access attempts right and talking about the policy enforcement by Kubama so Kubama integrates with LSM hook to enforce security policies here and as shown in the flowchart an application calling fopen triggers a series of checks 
Cubama uses LSM hooks to enforce LE SE Linux policies and determine if access should be granted or denied. So yeah, and there are multiple challenges with LSM itself, like difficulty in linking alerts and telemetry data to uh, specific policies, complexity in ensuring audited logs accurately, reflecting policy enforcements, and challenges with uh, utilizing eBPF for monitoring and enforcement, despite its powerful capabilities. So by leveraging LSM hook, Cubama provides robust policy enforcement and enhances the security of your Kubernetes cluster. Now, talking about the remediation with Cubama, so Cubama excels in remediation, remediating compliances issues by enforcing security policies and preventing policy violations in real time, and providing granular control over container actions, helping maintain compliance with specific uh, regulations, offering visibility into container behavior, aid, aiding in auditing and compliance reporting, allowing dynamic policy updates without the starting containers enabling rapid response to new compliance requirements and are finally integrating with existing Kubernetes environment seamlessly by implementing Kubama you can automate much of your compliance enforcement reducing the risk of human error and ensuring consistency policy uh, application across your uh, Kubernetes environment now talking about how policy enforcement in Cubama takes place, here the CIS benchmark 1.1.13 recommendation is to ensure that the Kubernetes admin conf config file has proper permission set to protect sensitive configuration information. By implementing this policy, Cubama effectively blocks unauthorized read-only access, uh, read access to the admin configuration file, ensuring that only file owner can read it. This helps to mitigate the risk of unauthorized access to sensitive Kubernetes configuration, thereby enhancing the security posture of the Kubernetes cluster in compliance with CIS benchmark guidelines. Now let us see how the open source toolings like Kubama, Kubescape and Kubebench can be used in an enterprise solution such as Aknox to deliver end-to-end -end runtime security and guarantee continuous compliance. So while the dash dashboard we see provide a comprehensive view of compliance across multiple standards, it's powered by robust open source tools working behind the scenes. Kubebench, for instance, is instrumental in generating the CIS benchmark compliance data we see here. So Kubebench runs automated checks against your Kubernetes cluster, assessing them against CIS benchmark standards. The result of these checks feed directly into the this dashboard, populating the compliance percentage for standards like the AWS CIS benchmark that you can see here, and the color coded results re red for non compliance, yellow for partial compliance, and green for full compliance are derived from Kubernetes detailed output. So, the open source tool enables enterprise grade compliance monitoring without the need for proprietary costly solutions, right? And the dashboard provides an overview of compliance status across multiple standards and frameworks. We can see that uh, 28 compliance standards that are being monitored for particularly AWS account. This dashbo dashboard shows compliance percentage for various standards like APRA 234 and AWS CIS benchmark. It breaks down compliance, uh, compliance by control areas such as implementation of controls, incident management and information security capability. So the color coded results help quickly uh, identify areas concerned with red indicating non-compliance, yellow for partial and green for full. And this type of uh, view allows organization to quickly assess their overall compliance posture and prioritize areas for improvements. Now detailed view of specific controls within various compliance framework is made possible by granular output of tools like Kubebench and Kubama. So Kubebench provides in-depth information about each control it checks including the descriptions and compliance status. This data populated control listing we see here complete uh, the description and compliance uh, percentage. Kubama complements this by providing runtime security enforcement. Its policies can be mat mapped to specific compliance requirements contributing to the compliance percentage we see for the controls related to the system level security itself. And the uh, combination of these open source tools allow for this detailed multi-framework compliance view typically associated with 
expensive enterprise solutions so diving deeper into the compliance details uh, this view shows specific controls within various compliance frameworks we can see uh, 33 compliance standards being monitored each control is listed with its description the number of assets is applied to and the current compliance percentage so specific requirements like multi-factor authentication credential management and encryption are highlighted there the results shown uh, results column uses a similar color coding system to quickly show the status of each controls so this level of detail allows security teams to pinpoint exactly where compliance gap exists and take targeted actions against uh, those things to address them the CIS benchmarks are a valuable resource for Kubernetes compliance. They provide a set of cons consensus driven best uh, practices for securing Kubernetes cluster, detailed configuration guidelines for various Kubernetes components, and recommendations for secure development and operations. So, a scoring system to assess compliance level uh, implementing CIS benchmarks helps to establish a strong uh, security baseline that uh, demonstrates due diligence and protecting your uh, Kubernetes environment. So uh, generating CIS benchmark report is crucial for assessing your compliance status. Uh, here's how to approach it. So use tools like Kubebench which automates CIS benchmark testing, integrate benchmarking testing into your CI CD pipeline for continuous assessment and schedule regular benchmark scans to track progress over time. So generate reports after that uh, that highlight both compliant and non-compliant areas and use these reports to prioritize remediation efforts and demonstrate compliance to the auditors there. So the actionable compliance side we see here including uh, specific failures and recommended actions are a result of intelligent processing of open source tool outputs. Um, Qbench identifies specific compliance failures such as overly permissive policies or lack of encryption these findings are then mapped to the le relevant compliance frameworks like gdpr as we see in the uh, view cube almost runtime monitoring capabilities contribute by identif identifying real-time policy violations which can be reflected in these compliance reports so the recommended actions are derived from revidation suggestion provided by cubebench uh, combined with the best practices and for implementing Kubama policies. So these dom demonstrates how open source tools can provide enterprise grade actionable compliance insights here. So this view here demonstrates how uh, the system identifies and reports on specific compliance failures. So the view is filtered for a particular AWS account and focuses on uh, failed controls. It shows that this assessment is related to CDPR Article 25, which is data protection by design and by default. So each row represents a specific compliance issue such as lack of MFA or overly permissive S3 bucket policies. So the system provides recommended actions for each release, making remediation more straightforward. So at the bottom, you, we can see that the control map to multiple compliance frameworks illustrating how addressing one issues can improve compliance uh, across various standards. So this actionable information enables teams to efficiently address compliance gap and can continuously improve their security posture. And finally, we have violation alerts when a policy violation occurs, such as an attempt to uh, access a restricted resource or execute unauthorized command, Kubama detects this automatically. Uh, it identifies the sources and the nature of the violation based on the defined policies. And as for the alert generation, uh, upon detecting a violation, Kubama generates detailed alerts uh, for that. And alerts include crucial information such as type of violation, affected ports or containers, timestamps, and the severity of the incident, and other major uh, critical information there. So in summary, while the dashboard and detail view we have explored appear to be part of sophisticated enterprise compliance solution, they are fundamentally powered by robust open source tools like Qbench and Qbama. Qbench provides the backbone for CIS benchmark compliance checking, generating detailed reports on various controls and their compliance status. Uh, this data feeds into the high level compliance percentage and detailed control view we have seen. 
right and cube armor complements this uh, with the runtime security enforcement contributing to real time compliance monitoring and providing data on the system level uh, security control so yeah so for further information or to engage in a deeper discussion please visit our website at acnox.com and yeah thank you so much uh, we appreciate the opportunity to contribute to the cncf community and looking forward to further collaboration